very much, Fred. Now something I've always wanted to say to Susan Brooks. Susan, here's one I met earlier. <laughs> this it's is George. George. I know. I'm, I'm highly honoured to have you home. in my kitchen. No, I mean, He's eating all the ingredients before oh. he started. Now, the reason I'm honoured to have you here is that what you eat is to do with your religion, isn't it? No. Nothing to do with it. Is, it, do is it not to do with being a well, Buddhist? No, obviously, um, I just eat vegetarian food because I don't like eating animals. But, but that doesn't go with the Buddhism, because an awful no. lot of Buddhists are, in fact, vegetarians. Yeah, but a lot of Buddhists also eat meat as yeah, well. Yeah, look at the Thais, yeah. I mean, a lot of people that, um, lots of people eat meat, don't they? I've, I've gathered together one or two little things. I didn't know what <coughs> my... <laughs> All over the ingredients, come here. Honestly. I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get Rich and Judy's lunch ready or there'll be trouble. Right. You've got green mange too all over you. I told so you not sorry. to start on the ingredients while they're raw. <laughs> Is there everything here could you eat? Yeah. Oh, God. Everything? Yeah. Nuts? Yeah, everything. Sprouting seeds? Absolutely. I, I got these specially for you, look. <laughs> yeah, what's the matter? keep a straight face after that, sorry. <laughs> Well, come on, we're going to cook. Right. Red, gold and green look, special oh, for lovely, you. Oh, lovely, yeah, can't communicate. What would you like for... Do you like ginger? Yep. Right, well, pass me that and bang <laughs> it in here, because I think it's hot enough. Well. Oh, you start with onions. Uh -huh. Aren't onions supposed to be a rather hot food? I don't know. They're good for you, though. They're good for breaking up cholesterol, apparently. I've chopped some ginger there, bang that across. <laughs> I don't think onions are good. No, garlic for cholesterol. <laughs> George, oh, no, no, get, no, do no. the garlic press when you've done the ginger. <laughs> We're doing very nicely here. I've never had anybody sneeze over me ingredients I'm so before. sorry, I know, it's so funny. Mm. I burped on Jonathan Ross, that was really embarrassing. Oh dear. What are you going to do the next time you're on the telly? Don't know. You've don't done ask. it all don't now. Don't ask, don't yeah. ask. Well, i tell you what, George, avoid the beans. All right. Could be disastrous. <laughs> right, now this is ready. Uh, peppers, do you like or do you not like? No, that, all this stuff is great. Well, spring onions you or peppers? do it peppers, quickly, I'll be able to take it with me as well. Oh, both. come on Chuck then. It all peppers in. in. Right. Now, I've got two sorts of mushrooms for you. I got ordinary mushrooms and these are organically grown. Oh, those are better, yeah. Right, chop them up and we'll get those in. They just want halving a bit. Right. I think this man has fear of frying, to be perfectly honest. He's having me doing this. Just halve them, because this is going well. Would you want to put some protein in here? I mean, would you put, say, nuts or... Tofu, if you got it. What? Tofu. I haven't got any tofu. What, what do you, not, do you not like? feel happy about? <laughs> I'm sorry. I got brown rice. That'll do, yeah. Yeah. Well, there'll be some protein in that. Well, I like cashew nuts, so we're going to put some cashew nuts I'm in. actually really good because I like eating most things. I like boring food. Such as what? It's just like vegetables. You know, a lot of people like to kind of like smother their food in all sorts of things. So would but you I not, like but you would eat this so you could just taste it just like that? You wouldn't put, say, soy sauce or anything Yeah, I would, in? yeah, but it depends on what kind of mood you're in. And obviously, if you eat... A lot of vegetarian stuff, it can end up being a bit boring, so you have to kind of like change the taste a little bit, don't you? Right. What do you think? Well, I would put in... Look, I want you to um, just... I shouldn't be sniffing strange substances with boy George on the telly, but just smell this. <laughs> it might make you sneeze That again. sounds good. Well, that's sesame oil and yeah, soy sauce, a mixture. Just a little bit in there. Look at these people. Well, we'll do that. We're, we haven't got enough for all that. <laughs> Unless you put some of those peas in and that'll make more. Do you think those need chopping? I usually put them in whole. Well, I think they're doing a bit quick if you chop them. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's doing very quickly in here, actually. OK, Smells we'll chop those in, and we'll have that on our rice so we can have a little taste with Richard and Judy. Pop those in. You're having a vegetarian lunch today, Richard. Yes, with, with George's special relish added as well. It's a widely held dictum that nobody can sneeze on live television. We've just proved it wrong. Anyway, that's about it for today, but don't forget to join us. <laughs>